Welcome back. We are, I'm assuming, finishing up the King's Quest Chapter 2. This is Atari Living Sacrifice. And we gotta save Bramble. Because we just lost a friend. So let's go save her first. We just lost the uh, blacksmith girl. Mm. I could have saved her, but I just messed this up. This would go great with some Bruneberry sauce. And paid money for the chopsticks oh, before I, I needed them. Let's see here. <laughs> nice try, Graham. Mm. My stomach has already turned enough at the sight of those monsters. All of our food is meant to be eaten with your bare hands. <laughs> we don't want your little funny sticks. <laughs> Those Asians are barbarians eating with sticks. How dare they? That poor guy hasn't eaten for days either. Alright, so let's go and get... Yep. Let's go get this out of the box. That's locked. I bet it could be picked open. Oh my god, are you serious? That's what it can un that's what it can pick. Okay. Do I still have the chopsticks? I do. That was quite flaris with his cape. He has quite the flare. Capes are uh, lost. I wonder what they're like a lost art. Nobody wears capes anymore. Is it because jackets are more more useful? They didn't have buttons and zippers back then? Is that why people wore capes? That's probably it, now that I think about it. I never really gave that much thought. Before. Alright. Got that. Let's give them the glass slipper. Uh. Again? Whoa. So. Maybe I give it. Oh! Oh, I give it to Cinderella! That's what this is about. Aww. Yeah, I'll put it on that dirty, nasty foot. See, I could have get, used that handle to save the blacksmith girl. Run away! You didn't even try to run away. Oh, I can't pick that up. Goblins love stories, especially fairy tales, and they always wanted to hear more. Well, I love stories too, Grandpa. As do I, but the goblins were obsessed. Are you saying you're a goblin? Is they that what you're trying to say? They enjoy their stories like you or me. They base their whole lives around them, collecting and hoarding everything they could from their treasured tales, even if it meant stealing. What is that? What what story is that? Whoa! Not even gonna let me continue to search. Oh, that's it's not a goblin. Who's that? Ooh. What? That, that's not a goblin, that's a human, in goblin's clothing. I see what happened. Yeah, why, why did they do that, though? Page of bravery. What do I do with a page of 
bravery. Do I have to... Is this part... Is this a clue? Hmm. Need some dirty pipes. Rusted dirty pipes. This is probably where all the porridge is. Yep. I need to be careful I don't get caught with this. Okay, what do I do with them? Have I learned to climb yet? No, I haven't. Hmm. do these things can't even still can't yeah. climb it even after I read oh. the page of bravery I thought if I read the page of bravery that I would magically become brave what do I do with the uh... with the clippers or the the wrench Pliers, that's what they are. Pliers. Sorry. Thank God my wife finds me handsome, because I sure as heck ain't handy. Bolt cutters, that's what they are. Bolt cutters. What do I do with the bolt cutters? And why did they kick that guy in the shins? That was very mean. Hmm. Hmm. Can I climb down there? Nope. I already got the flower. That's really the only thing I need it for, right? Let's go grab another one just for giggles. Just in case... Th Really? Yes, I... It's not worth... Hmm. I don't think that's in the plan for now. Nope. Okay. But I don't need me to grab one. I found out in my first playthrough of this chapter that they won't let me kill all three of them. Nothing left in there. I got the pee. Because uh, I tried to eat on the. when there was only one person left with one health and it wouldn't let me do it, I tried to eat the, the drumstick, so I have to save some people. Hmm. Bolt cutters. Can I cut the... Can I cut this guy out? I can't get caught with that. Get that out of here. Okay. Sorry, boy, but I only accept two kinds of currency. Sorry, boy, but I only... Those are neither rare... Feeding sticks from the Orient. Yes. Yes, they are. I wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. I need that key. It's not worth Yes. Really? Maybe I can cut the lock. For the hobble pots. They're over there distracted. 
Yes, I'm. Oh, hello. N nice rocky buddies. <laughs> Come in. Share our delicious soup. And join some in the exclusive you, diarrhea. And some for you. I call you Stony, and, and, and you Marbles, you can be Sandy. Uh, uh, you're scaring me. I'm scaring myself. Yeah, they're so cute. Um, guys, the alarm. We better get a move on. You guys go. My new friends will protect me. Muriel, we don't have time for this. Go. I'll be waiting right here for you. I want to make sure the other prisoners get fed. Huh. After Aww. all these years, you still find ways to surprise get me. Get out of here! Okay, I didn't have to worry about the, the cook. Hmm. I was off to seek an audience with the Goblin King. If I could get my hands on his key, perhaps I could set the other prisoners free. Did you have a particular reason for choosing the Hobblepots? It would take a miracle to get out of this one, and in <laughs> the absence of miracles, tricks would have to suffice. He's like Miracle Max. But Amaya could have wrecked all those rock bottoms. Amaya, is that her name? Did the little girl fall asleep? Aww. Would you mind calling for a guard to carry her off to bed? But, Grandfather, I'd like to hear more. Um, which part well, we gotta wait like for the, the girl best? to wake up. The mischievous goblins? Or the interrupting boy who wanted to tell a different story? Oh, oh my gosh. I was enjoying the goblins. Absolutely, I, I was. I... I just wanted to show you that I could... I think it's best to call it a night. The storm has calmed down, and so has she. But, Grandfather, but I... Grandfather. I just wanted to... This is not a time for debating. Go to bed. We can continue in the morning. Okay, Doc. As you wish. Where we're going, we don't need beds. Guard, wait. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to snap these... Elixirs have my nerves Aww. on edge. It's okay, Grandfather. And thank you. I do still have a lot to learn from your stories. Sweet dreams, God. Sleep well. That I can do with my eyes closed. <laughs> now you're learning. Uh, I'm stealing that one. There. I'm totally stealing that one. But the little girl's not listening. No. I'll go ahead. Stay back. No. No. No, I no, no, no. I sure if I could get him across. But he needed to believe I could. Hmm. Yeah, because if you fall and die. But the little girl's not listening anymore. Why are we? <gasps> okay. Do we step on the ones with? Go. With the dirt on them? Hmm. Right. Right. Oh, he can't see himself? Left. Oh, I guess we gotta step on the ones with the Left. moss on them. Forward. Hmm, there's no moss. Guess it doesn't matter. Right. Oh! I just killed the old man. Well. I'm a 
a murderer. A murderer of old folks. Left. No. Left. Forward. Right. I'm right. assuming they fall eventually. Forward. I don't I don't get why they want me to tell him which way to go. That's weird. But we'll do it. Right, Miracle Max. Let's go. Left. No. Right. Right. No. Left. No. Right. Ooh. Left. Forward. Forward. Good job, Miracle Max. It would take a miracle. Have fun storm in the goblin castle. Quick, in my cape. <laughs> no time to explain. What? Oh my gosh. All right. So our pockets are magical. All right. I can't move. Oh, I can move. That's just the shadow. That's all that is. Maybe not. It's just a shadow. Shadow of your former dragon self. Your one-eyed dragon. Oh, it is. It's a little baby dragon. Oh. Nightmares come in many forms. Once you realize what you are actually afraid of. You can start to deal with the fear. Did I just put a dragon in my pocket? Mm. Boy, this girl is a light sleeper. One little squeaky toy noise. And she's awake for the rest of the night. And she sleeps in her clothes. gonna work. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. Ah! Don't set the whole castle on fire. I'm not screaming you'll be back. Let's pick up our story once again. Oh my goodness. I wasn't actually Just set the afraid. whole castle on fire for that. I was still struggling with the loss of a chakra. Now, I'm afraid I'd be afraid of dragons. meant the life or death of a kingdom. That's the true beast I needed to wrestle with. Why are they so mean to him? Because they know he's not a goblin? I'll <laughs> just go back and forth, huh? The bridge is out. Do I have the old man in my pocket? I do. What is that? The shadows. Let's put a dragon bait. Oh, I, I wasn't close enough. That's why I wasn't doing anything. It's my hat. Uh-oh. He's going to take off his rock helmet. He's been raised. He's been raised as a troll or a goblin his entire life, come to find out. He's really my son. I my... didn't need to wear his crown to be a great king. My old hat suited me just fine. And Daventry was ready for a new adventure. Are you going to put it on anyway? Hmm. 
Number one. We're number one. All right. Is this? What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Let's take a look then. By Manny. It's music by Manny. Once in a town Yay! just like the one you're imagining, there was a beautiful castle that stood high on a hill. It's William Chancy or something like that. I can't remember his name. All were welcome here. Well, everyone except for the pests. The townspeople cried out to their king, We must be rid of these rats. They're scaring our children and stealing our cheese. Who stole my and cheese? And ate a baby. What? The town had become very unpleasant. They indeed. ate a baby? That's Every disgusting. Every morning, gold coins clanged through the water well, carrying wishes for a better town. But the rats remained. I guess this is disgusting as eating regular mammals. The king, in his finite wisdom, had also been casting wishes, for he desperately needed a plan. As wishes would have it, a wandering piper appeared at the castle gates. I bet since everybody was throwing gold into the well, that's why in the first part of the game there was money underneath the, the well piper offered to expel the rats from the kingdom if the town would overthrow their moronic liege here here they cried out our throne is but a seat for a hat rack rid us of these pests and the throne is where you'll rest hmm. the stranger pulled out a small flute and played a pleasing melody is that blood or fire music summoned the rats out of hiding and they danced on the head oh, of the king his, his cape thing I'm a bobber what do they call those things words are not my best a feature pitched squeal but the piper continued his song the rats were led back to the wooded forest where they belonged what the piper returned to the castle to claim his reward, but his knock echoed throughout the halls, and no one let him in. It's, did they did they eat the king? He raised his pipe, and a new melody was played. He watched the drawbridge lower, and a mesmerized kingdom pranced to his side. With a few simple notes and a turn on the heel, the stranger led them from the castle to the deep, dark caverns below. And that's how the goblins were made. The throne is now empty, and the well doesn't clang anymore. Wow. Manny knew exactly what to write to incite the horde. He chose every word carefully, fully knowing how the goblins would react to his story. Oh, it was brilliant. They did all the dirty work, and he just sat back and watched. I thought I had bested him in the duel of wits, but the mind and games were just beginning. Hmm. <laughs> so, either that is how the goblins started or that is just Manny trying to craft a tale to rid the throne of of us of King Kraka. So hey, I think that's a good place to pause it. Uh hope you're enjoying it. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, y'all. Keep moving forward.